Hey guys, the goal today is to go out and catch just a nice little eating size finger mark. Sam's got a U-Butte recipe for a catch and cook, and we're going to knock him up later on. Oh, that's a better fish. It's not a toady this time. <laughs> oh, half it is. Yeah. Ah, nice little fingery. Oh, finger. Beautiful. Well, some of the spots that we find, I tell you, we've got a nice little finger mark for our catch and cook tonight. Sam's uh, <laughs> just, just let go a giant puffer fish, and now yeah, he's got a um, yeah. Papua and jawfish. Yeah. These little, oh, these lures catch anything, don't they? <laughs> Soft fish proof. That's it. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we will do a catch and cook with this one. Uh, we're going to leave it up to Sam. What are yeah. you going to do this one in, mate? Oh, I reckon I might um, scale him, gut him, and um, maybe pan fry him, get that skin all nice and crispy. Yep. That's not the perfect size for that. Beautiful. And, um, yeah, it'll be dinner tonight. Can't wait, mate. That's Nothing it. like fresh fish, oh, eh? Especially finger mark. Oh, my yeah. Favorite. One of my favourites, definitely. Okay, we've got the hooks out now. Like all our fish, when we prepare them to take them home, just going to cut his throat. Off to the light, fella. And give him a little bit of a brain spike. Just uh, behind the back of the eyes is generally a good little spot. You'll feel it slide right in and you'll feel the fish quiver a little bit. There we go. Got him. And uh, we'll soak him in the water for a minute, drain the blood in the esky on the ice for the day. Nice and cold. Take him home, get the fillets off and it's up to Sam from there. So we just got back from fishing. Uh, we just got this beautiful size finger mark that we're gonna um, pan fry tonight. So we're just gonna prep him up. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to take his gills out and take the guts out. So what I like to do is start here and we split it through. Sharp knife makes it easier sometimes. There we go. So open him up. So just down in here is where you can cut the gills out. So. So the easiest way to get these gills out is when they're attached like that, you get the knife in there and you slide it along and then it detaches from the um, from where it's hooked on and then you just grab that and pull all the guts out in one go. So that's um, that's its all its intestines and all its internals and its gills. So most of it's all out in one hit. Um, yeah, so all this here, that's its swim bladder. All that has to come out. So you just grab hold of that and rip it out. There's also a little bit of blood cheesy up along here. If you run a knife along it, you can um, pop most of that. So you want to clean all that out just to make sure um, what none of the doesn't actually taint the taste of the flesh. All right, so I got most of the guts out there. That's um, clean enough for what we want. So the next steps to uh, to knock the scales off. So basically, you just grab. I um, just found a kitchen knife here, um, so you use the back edge of it and um, can um, start knocking the... Alright, so um, there's actually some meat in the head here because we like to get as much as we can out of each fish. You can actually cut this cheek meat out, so you can get a knife in there like that. So this is the, uh, the cheek meat that comes out, so it's, uh, it's very succulent and um, pretty nice part of the fish. So the other thing you can do with um, with leftovers like this with the head is um, you can throw it in a pot, boil it up, uh, make fish soup and things like that. Still a little bit of meat left up in here and um, makes really nice soup. So because it's thick, is that this fish is actually um, quite thick across here. What we'll need to do is put some cuts down through it to allow the heat to get into the fish. So we just cut down like that down to the bones and that just allows uh, the heat to get into the thicker part of the fish and it'll cook through much easier. So I've put a generous amount of oil and um, a good slab of butter in. Um, so I've had to cut the finger mark, I've had to cut its tail off. Um, it was a bit big and wouldn't fit in the pan so we've just cut it in two pieces which will probably work out for us because this piece is quite thick and it'll probably take a bit longer to cook than that end, but we still want the fins and all that because they're quite nice when they're cooked up, they're nice and crispy. Alright, so we just place the, um, the 
side of the fish into the, into the pot pan. That's sizzling away, so it's pretty good. We'll leave the tail out for a little bit, uh, just to just to give that time to cook through a little bit because we don't want to overcook the tail part because it's a bit thinner. So we want the oil to be pretty hot uh, just to get that initial crispy skin up a little bit. So we're going to flip this really soon and then we'll turn the heat down and cook it through. All right, you can see here in the fish that um, we've just flipped it and it's about halfway cooked through. So now we're going to throw the tail in. Same deal as before, straight in the pan. Get those fins in that nice hot oil and it'll um, they'll crisp up. So I'll we'll stick that in and leave that for a little bit and just wait for everything to cook through. All right, so um, this tail bit looks like it's pretty much cooked. You can tell because it's, um, it's white all the way through, those cuts we put in before. So we'll just get that out of the pan. How's that look, mate? I reckon we'll be able to get into that later on. Oh, I reckon, mate. This is one of the best things of fish in the ocean, aren't we? Absolutely. The best. All right, so this other bit here, it's, we might just flip him over here. Yeah, so all we've done is put a bit of bit of peanut oil in there, yep. uh, a little bit of butter, and um, yeah, straight in the pan. So Pretty keep, easy and simple, isn't it? Keeping it very simple, yeah. Wow. And I guess also, mate, it's important I guess, to use a fish that's going to fit in the pan as well. So that's right, like, yeah. Because that one and a half. So a finger mark bigger than like 48, 50 centimetres is going to be a bit, bit difficult to do. Yeah, it's not day. ideal, but um, mm. we only seem to catch big fish, yeah. mate. I oh, know. Well, lucky we got a small <laughs> one today. So, yeah. yeah, all good. That's it. We'll see. <laughs> okay, guys, we're about to try Sam's uh, pan fried finger mark. It's one of the best eating fish in the world. Um, he's been telling us how good it is for the last couple of weeks, so it's time to deliver, mate. So here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good that's stuff. Good, mate. Right. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. That was in the ocean, picking around three and a half hours ago. Mm. Fantastic. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video and you want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Insta, and if you want some special tips that are only sent out by email only, head on over to our website www.rhymedyfishing.com and sign up for free training and email updates. Get into the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter, and we'll see you next time.